Hey guys, it's Blink182, and today I have a very strange glitch to show you. How you can get from here, at the art gallery, all the way over here, which is about a mile away, in... Oh, wow, it's just a floating basketball court. Now, this was featured on the first skate game, it was at the school, and you could also get here on Skate 2, because they added it as a DLC pack for school. And now you can get here on Skate 3. So what you want to do is come to this location, uh, this is at the top of the mega ramp at the art gallery, you have to glitch out of bounds, just jump over the fence to get here, and once you come to the top of the mega ramp you'll see these two buildings, now what you want to do is build a tower using this big yellow container, uh, this is only a temporary tower because it will keep falling over because you're actually building on a hill, uh, once you build built your tower, get this big pipe, and then you can run up it to actually get onto your tower. Like that. And once you're on the top, you will now be high enough, hopefully, to jump to that third window seal. Now once you're on this little window ledge thing, uh, you will then be high enough to use the object dropper to actually place the container on its side. Now once it's on its side, you want to just place a ramp on top of it. And it took me about 10 minutes to actually jump from this stupid window onto this container. I could have just moved a container, but that would have been a sensible thing to do. So there you go, I'm on it. Now you want to add the container and the ramp to your session marker and just keep doing the backwards mark. So you're going to see now just how far away this basketball court is. It's that tiny little rectangle down there. And to make things just impossibly hard for us, as you get closer to it, the screen turns completely black. So you don't know if you're too far to the right, like I was just there, by about a meter. Or if you're too far to the left, or if you're not even going to be high enough. So, <clears throat> I was just checking with the camera there to see if the camera would pass through it, and it didn't, which means it's solid ground, so I was very happy about that. And I think after this attempt, that's the one I actually make it. It did take me about 25 minutes of just purely doing the backwards man to actually get this because you have to get a full speed and full height one and it's really only just within reach so as you can see the screen goes completely black I had no idea if I was going to make it or not and then as you get closer it just kind of reappears and I was so happy that I actually spawned back on here and not on that stupid yellow container now there's not really much to do on here, or anything to do, it's just one of those cool places to visit, especially if you played the first game, it's got all the same graffiti and stuff as the uh, school had on the first game. So I think they've literally just not bothered to delete this for whatever reason, they probably thought no one would ever find it. Um, I just decided to turn it into a proper basketball court as you can see. Now I'd like to say thank you to Mystify, if you've not seen his videos you should watch them because they're pretty cool. He does a series called 5 Things You May Not Know About Skates. And this was featured in one of them. Now the guy in the video, he didn't actually get here. He just kind of got near it and then he zoomed his camera in. So I don't know if anyone's ever got on here before. As far as I'm aware, I'm the first person to do it. But it was a nightmare to get on here to be honest. You have to get so lucky and so high and so fast with your backwards man speed glitch. So anyway, the rest of the video is just me messing around on here. There's not really a lot you can do because the area is so small. But hopefully you'll enjoy the video. And you should definitely try this yourself because as far as I'm aware, so far I'm the only person who's ever been here. So you could be the second person and then... I don't think you can play this area online. I did press... Uh, solo free skate here, but then it spawned me at the art gallery entrance. So I think this out, this part of the map is out of bounds, which is a shame. So you'll have to do it on single player only, I'm afraid. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.